Hello, I'm Yasuo Suzuki. Today, I would like to introduce you my article on a new formulation of the classical fluid mechanics. This article was written originally in 2018 in Japanese. An English translation is available now. Please check the URL below. I proposed a concrete method to derive Cauchy's equation, which is a fundamental equation in fluid mechanics, in the framework of the principle of least action. Cauchy's equation describes the transport of momentum in an arbitrary continuum. This equation can be regarded as an extension of Newton's equation from a point mass to that of an extended object, a fluid element. A fluid element has a certain volume and flows through deformation, changing the mass field and the velocity field. Each point on its surface is subjected to stress from the surroundings. So in Cauchy's equation, this term, the term of contact force, is added to Newton's equation. I have introduced a field called the position function to extend the Lagrangian density for Newton's equation version to Cauchy's equation version. This will allow you to derive Cauchy's equation in the frame of the least action principle. Using the action under the variation of position function, Euler-Lagrange equation is derived and we obtain Cauchy's equation. We can define the canonical momentum and the Hamiltonian density and check that Hamilton's equations hold. And we can confirm the energy conservation by the energy density defined here. To prove my theory, I had to take another look at the meaning of stress and I came up with a new form of definition that was not previously available. This is a new definition of stress. Stress can be defined as a difference between an infinitesimal displacement at a point on the surface of a force-like quantity made by the mass field and the acceleration field. Thus, I have constructed a new set of fundamental equations for classical fluid mechanics. These equations are sufficient to determine the mass field and the velocity field of the fluid to describe its motion. Since the motion of the fluid is determined if only the mass field and the velocity field is determined, this system of equations does not necessarily require the use of stresses. Thank you for listening.